it was alright. Um, I was speaking to my coach. He said if, if I got told at the start of the day, you know, 146T, I'll take that. But the way it unfolded was a bit frustrating. You know, well, it, it was frustrating. It's just, it's just a tight race, and the finish didn't quite go my, rate, uh, my way. But you know, 145.9. Obviously, Matthew won it, um, which is very impressive. You know, I was saying earlier, speaking to his coach, I came here three years ago and won it in like a 147 something, 147 high. It's like, you know, it's just moved on. I feel like the events moved on, and competition's definitely very hot. At this, at this meet, I think it's like the first international one we've had in a while. Mm -hmm. Everyone's come here, um, but no, it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. One foot six this morning, and it felt smooth. So, actually, try and carry that feeling into the evening next time. But all good. It's just been a solid block of work. Like we finished last Saturday morning, and it was just like that was the end of like a solid five-week block of work, and then straight into racing. So it's, it's you know. We're still kind of recovering off the back of that, so it's, I knew it was going to be a tough swim and it was going to be a tough meet. Um, but that's kind of what we always do after trials because it sets us up for the summer. And we've got such a big summer this year of racing that it's like we had we have to do that block of work. Yeah. There's like no two ways about it. So um, yeah, it was tough. It was tough. We had a camp out in Turkey, which was lovely, but you know, hard work. And then we were in Bath for I think three weeks um, of just kind of solid work, and then literally flew straight here. So yeah, no no rest really. I think you've got to take it one at a time. That's such a cliche saying, isn't it? Yeah, take one day at a time. Take it. But you do have to approach it one competition at a time. Just like when you approach a, a big six or seven day competition, you've got to do it one event and one day at a time. Um, so literally, focus, my, my sole focus at the moment is World Champs. And as soon as it's finished, I'll park that. I've got four weeks to prep for the Commonwealth Games being my sole focus. And I want to go and I want to win the Commonwealth Games in front of a home crowd in Birmingham. You know that would be that would be a dream come true. I can't I can't wait to go and be competitive there uh, and do a do a kind of wide range of events. So, and once I've done that, I'll park it. You know, I've literally only got about seven days and we're into Europeans. And, and I think that'll be more slightly not more relaxed, but the two majors, you know, the Worlds and the Commies. That's where I really want to really want to kind of stamp my name. Um, but yeah, it's been a long summer. Yeah. It's the question that a lot of coaches are going to be asked and how they how they deal with that. You know, I've got complete faith in my coach Dave McNulty to get the best out of us in that block and it, it's challenging do you stay kind of fresh and, and, and almost rested and just try and bounce on do you try and do a block of hard work or, or do you kind of find the middle ground and, and I've kind of got to leave it up to the, the hands of my coach for that one and, and have faith in, in what he's doing he's been faced with this a lot of times over the years so I know that he'll kind of get the best out of us and he'll tailor it depending on our event, how we respond to a taper, how we respond to you know a block of hard work, and and um, yeah, just try and keep us in as good shape as we can between between those two. But it is a tricky one because it's that kind of no man's land. You know, it's not short enough like between commies and euros bounce on. It's not long enough for an entire you know five six week block. So so what do you do? So um, it'll be interesting. I think it's been interesting. I think everyone will have dealt with it differently. And our approach after the games was all very different. You know, Matt and Duncan were straight back into it, and, and obviously competed at that first ISL, and, and, and have, they've done a lot of racing since. Whereas James and I had a bit of a longer break. You know, we were very conscious that we didn't want to get back in too soon because we knew we had a big year ahead of us. So um, we took a extended three month, you know, complete hiatus out of the water, and we knew ISL World Short Course would be what it would be. It was all about the trials, and you know. Duncan, Jimmy and I were on that podium at trials like, like we were, like we have been for the last few years and it just felt felt right and, and we were back to it and stuff and you know Matt's done well, he's got a bit of a way to go um, to get back down to where he was for Olympics but you know I've got no doubt he'll be able to do it if he kind of commits to the programme and, and, and is fully, you know, fully into the work um, and yeah I know that we'll be able to come together and, and put on a, a strong performance at, at the World Champs and the four of us, you know, we always bring something special out of each other when we, when we get together so yeah, I, I, I like to think we'll back it up. We were so dominant at the Olympics in that 4x2. Um, and Duncan, Jimmy and I, we're, we're right back at our best and, and Matt's not far off either. So, um, yeah, I think we'll put a strong performance in.